Good afternoon, Liston Chapel. Let's begin the warm up session. Describe your typical working day. My day starts with a prayer. After completing my daily routines, I reach my workstation by 7 30. Before taking the handover, I complete my inventories and update the crash cart medication and dressing trolley. After receiving the handover, I interact with my patients to identify their health needs. Based on my assessment plan, a nursing care plan and provide quality care for my patients. Afterward, I assist the physician in his work and carry out necessary clinical orders. Meanwhile, I find some time to interact with my colleagues and maintain a good rapport with them. My duty ends by 3.30, after giving a handover to the next scheduled staff members. Do you think nurses should attend continuous nursing education? Yes, I do. The Continuous Nursing Education Program helps nurses to update themselves with the current practices in their profession. Moreover, nowadays it is mandatory to have specific hours of continuing nursing education to renew the nursing registration. Hence continuous nursing education is very important for nurses. What do you find rewarding about being a nurse? I truly love helping people, and the most rewarding thing for me as a nurse is seeing the joy of patients and their families. It is always a priceless feeling to see our patients recover to a normal life after going through a difficult time. Throughout my years as a nurse, I have seen many heartbreaking times as well, and being able to help those families cope with loss has been very difficult, but also rewarding. How do you deal with someone who isn't satisfied with your patient care? When faced with a dissatisfied patient, I assess the issue, determine if it's something within my control to correct, address their concerns, answer their questions, and collaborate with colleagues for alternative solutions if necessary. My goal is to accommodate the patient without compromising their care. Tell me what you feel your greatest skill as a nurse is. My greatest skill as a nurse is my communication ability. I'm very proud of my ability to listen to what a patient is telling me. Nothing frustrates them more than feeling as though they're not being heard, and actively listening can help make someone comfortable. In addition, I learned that addressing their concerns and communicating assuredly make them feel comfortable, which is important to receiving quality care.
You can now start your OET roleplay. Good morning. I'm Nurse Liston Chapel, and I'll be taking care of your child, Sam, during his stay here. Oh, hello, Nurse Chapel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, how may I address you? You can call me Mahira. Mihira, now I am here to take some of his vital signs, like temperature and blood pressure. How are you holding up today? I'm quite worried about my child. He is in a lot of pain, and I'm concerned about how long he will be in the hospital. Mihira, I understand how distressing it must be to see your child in pain and uncertain about their hospital stay. It's completely natural to feel worried in this situation. Rest assured, your child's hospital admission is crucial for their well-being. With appendicitis, the severity can vary, and things can progress rapidly. That's why being in the hospital allows us to closely monitor your child's condition, ensuring we can intervene promptly if needed. The pain your child is experiencing is a priority for us, and we'll do everything we can to manage it effectively. Additionally, diagnostic tests, like the upcoming CT scan, are essential for confirming the diagnosis and planning the best course of treatment tailored to your child's needs. Being here also means we can swiftly address any complications that may arise, ensuring we provide the highest level of care and support throughout your child's journey to recovery. If you have any questions or concerns along the way, please don't hesitate to reach out. Yes, I understand that. Since he is already diagnosed with appendicitis, what is the relevance of a CT scan? I appreciate you asking this question, Mihira. Even though your child has been diagnosed with appendicitis, the CT scan is crucial for a few reasons. Firstly, the CT scan provides detailed images that allow us to precisely locate the inflamed appendix and rule out any other potential causes of your child's symptoms. It helps us assess the severity of the inflammation and determine if there are any complications such as abscess formation or perforation. This information is vital for planning the appropriate treatment approach, whether it involves surgery or conservative management. Ultimately, the CT scan plays a critical role in ensuring we have a comprehensive understanding of your child's condition, guiding us in providing the best possible care and ensuring a swift recovery. Okay, I got it. But why can't he eat anything? I empathize with your worry, Mihira. The reason we have your child on NPO, or nothing by mouth, is to prevent any complications during the upcoming CT scan. When the stomach is empty, it allows for clearer imaging results, which is crucial for accurate diagnosis and treatment planning. Additionally, since your child is experiencing abdominal pain, eating or drinking could exacerbate their discomfort, or even increase the risk of complications. However, rest assured that your child is receiving necessary fluids and nutrition through intravenous administration to keep them hydrated and nourished during this time. Our priority is to ensure his safety and well-being throughout their hospital stay. I see. Thank you for explaining. What will happen next? How long will he be in the hospital? I'm glad I could clarify things for you, Mihira. Next, your child will stay in the hospital until we ensure their condition is stable. The length of their stay can vary, but we'll keep you updated on their progress every step of the way. During your child's hospital stay, we'll provide round-the-clock care to manage their pain and monitor their condition closely. Additionally, we encourage you to ask any questions or share any concerns you may have. Your input is invaluable in ensuring we provide the best care possible for your child. We're here to support both of you through this process every step of the way. Thank you for the information. I feel a bit better knowing what to expect. Now Mihira, can I have your consent to take your child's vital signs? Yes, of course, Nurse Chapel. I appreciate your care and support. Thank you for your cooperation, Mihira. We'll do everything we can to help your child feel better soon.